white, male, young, heterosexual, Christian, financially secure. These are the common characteristics that make up the mythical norm, a term created by Audre Lorde to describe our society's ideal human. It is called mythical because it is an ideal that is unachievable by most of our society, and those that fall out of the norm are labeled as less than, as an other. As a black, lesbian, feminist, socialist, poet, mother of two, including one boy and member of an interracial couple, I usually find myself part of some group in which the majority defines me as deviant, difficult, inferior, or just plain wrong. We measure up to the norm in varying degrees. We have many different aspects of our identity, and Audre Lorde argues that we often fail to recognize how they interact with each other, how one aspect is oppressed while another is oppressive. Take the women's movement. Audre Lorde critiques the absence of literature by women of color in gender studies classes. When we exclude their voices, we exclude their thoughts, experiences, and ideas. In turn, we establish white women as the only legitimate voice of feminism. Feminism becomes something by and for wealthy, heterosexual, cisgender, white women and the struggles of women that don't fit into those categories are overlooked. We can challenge the mythical norm in a similar way to how we challenge othering, by extending belonging. And you can start as an individual by considering the varying aspects of your identity. How do you benefit from this norm? How might you reinforce it? And how can you use your privilege to fight it? There is a timber, a voice, that comes from not being heard and knowing you are not being heard, which is noticed only by others not being heard for the same reasons.